Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to create the stylized bottle and a glass and I really hope you will enjoy this one. And if you do, please don't forget to leave that like. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the most effective way, be sure to check out my courses. I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills to low poly illustration all the way to full character illustration. And with the new one, you get to create the full textured environment. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and first of all I will leave the camera in place and delete everything else so let's drag a selection press X and delete and first I want to create a little backdrop so let's press shift A and we'll create a plane now tap into the edit mode press S then Y and scale it up a little bit and now press E to extrude and let's now go to the modifiers panel and let's add the bubble modifier let's increase the segments to 2 and let's reduce the radius a little bit, enable hard normals in the shading section, tab out, right click and shade auto smooth and we can increase the angle all the way to 180 and now I'll place the bottle and the glass right here. So let's shift right click here and let's press shift A and we'll create a circle and now let's modify the vertices to 12, tab into the edit mode, press S to scale it down now press F to fill, E to extrude, we can go higher up because we want this to be you know stylized and bulky and now press I to inset and again we'll leave this quite thick and press E to extrude. Now E again and press S to scale it up and E again to extrude. Now we'll make this smaller by pressing S and now we'll extrude this down so press I and again, um, leave quite a lot of thickness here um, to have this nice and stylized. And now you can enable X-ray view. Look from the side by pressing 3 on an unpad and press E to extrude this down. S to scale up and Ctrl B to bevel and you can increase number of cuts with the mouse wheel to 2 and create something like this. And the reason why I'm doing the glass like this is because I want this to be all, you know, a solid piece of glass including um, this bottom part right here so I want to use solidify modifier here but actually model the whole thing using um, you know circle and extrusion and now we can press A to select all and shift N to recalculate normals in case they are wrong and now we can add subdivision surface and this will mess up the model quite a lot let's toggle the x-ray but now we are able to add supporting loops to make this look nicer so let's toggle the x-ray again Let's go for face select by pressing 3 and select the bottom face like this and press I to inset. And now let's toggle the X-ray again and let's hit Ctrl R to create the loop cut right here on top and let's bring it closer to the edge. And now we can create one more here and one more up there. And if you want to make the side of this more flat, you can add one more right there if you wish. And let's create one here and one towards the top and don't forget on the inside and now we should have a nice glass right here so now let's press ctrl 2 to change this into two levels of subdivision right click and shade smooth so this will be our stylized glass and now let's create the bottle so shift right click next to the glass and let's press shift a and we'll add a circle Tab into the edit mode, press S to scale it down and press F to fill and let's extrude the shape of the bottle. So press E to extrude, E again and press S to make this smaller and E once more. But now this will be a little bit different uh, because there are no like solid glass pieces right here like down there. So we can press X and delete faces, leave this open tab out and we can go and add solidify modifier right here and increase the thickness like this and let's check even thickness and now if you press ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface again we'll need to create some supporting loops but right now we have the whole volume of the glass ready so let's for example alt click the bottom loop and press ctrl b to create two segments of bevel right there and now let's do the same thing here and same thing right here and let's press ctrl r to bring 
one support loop closer to the top and basically that's it for the bottle so now we can right click and shade smooth and to create a cork we can press shift a add a circle press g then z and bring it up here tab into the edit mode scale it down press f and extrude extrude once again now let's press 3 for face select alt click the loop all around and press alt e and extrude faces along normals just like this and now we can select the top one let's toggle the x-ray press g then z and bring it up now if you tab out and press ctrl 2 to add subdivision you'll see we need again to add some supporting loops so let's toggle the x-ray here and basically only thing we need to do is to bevel this down there and here as well and maybe bring one down here using ctrl r but other than that this should be fine so let's toggle the x-ray again and if you want optionally you can make this more wide right click and shade smooth now that's for the bottle and the glass um, but to make the scene a little bit nicer i want to have um, some grapes here so first of all let's select the cork hold shift select the bottle press ctrl p and parent so we can move this you know as one object and now let's shift right click here and we'll press shift a and we'll add a round cube if you don't see this option here just go edit preferences add-ons and search for extra and activate add mesh extra objects close the preferences and now you should see it right here and we can change the preset to quad sphere and reduce for example to something like six or even four vertices we can use subdivision modifier later anyway so now tab into the edit mode press s to scale it down and now we'll need to duplicate this few times to create a grape so tab out press g then z move it up and now alt d to create link duplicates and let's make it smaller with s and let's you know just duplicate a few of these around to have a nice like a clump of grapes okay something like this and now i want to create the stem inside so let's select one of them in the middle hold shift s and snap cursor to select it now let's press shift a and we'll add a single vertex and again this is part of the extra objects add-on and now let's switch to the vertex select mode let's look from the side and let's toggle the x-ray and we can extrude stem like this and to make it more interesting we can select one of these vertices press shift d to duplicate it and extrude it separately to have something like this and we can move them to the sides as well so we have something like this now let's tab out right click and let's convert to curve and in the curve settings geometry section will increase the bevel depth of this now tab back in select the end control points enable proportional editing and press alt s and we can change the follow with the mouse wheel and let's make the endpoints a little bit smaller and now select this one disable proportional editing and make it smaller so it connects a little bit better and now we can press ctrl 2 to add subdivision modifier and let's toggle the x-ray so now you might see some overlapping so we can just fix it by moving these grapes you know around and maybe adding some okay like this and now let's select everything here let's hold control over the stem to deselect it and let's just connect them together um so we have them as one object because this is too much hassle to have you know a lot of objects so for example let's hold shift select this one in the middle and press ctrl j to join them inside and now we can press ctrl 2 to add subdivision modifier right click shade smooth and shade smooth for the stem as well and now we have a nice grape right here and let's parent this so press ctrl p and parent to object and now we can update our composition a little bit maybe make this a little bit larger and this one as well now let's position it higher up so it better you know sits on the table there or you know on the plank okay and now 
Um, with camera in scene, you can just hold Ctrl, Alt and 0 to place the camera to a new location where your viewport is. So now you can select the camera, press G and Z twice to move it away a little bit. And now in the render settings, let's go and pick cycles. I will switch to GPU and enable the noising, reduce the samples and hold Z and show rendered for a preview. And now, you know, this is too dark because we have no lights in the scene. So let's hold Shift S and snap cursor to world origin. And let's press Shift A and we'll add light and area light. Press G then Z and move it up. Now, of course, we'll need to make this a little bit larger. And in the light settings, let's switch this to disk and increase to something like 500. And we can press G then Z and move it up. And additionally, place it a little bit back so it doesn't like shine directly on top. And now we can play with the shaders. So we want to create the glass shader. And first of all, um, so we don't need to render everything around here. We can press Ctrl B and limit the render preview only for the camera bounce. And now let's select the glass. And in the material section, let's create a new material and scroll down and increase the transmission. They'll basically create the glass for you with IOR of 1.4. And you can reduce the roughness to something like 0.05. And basically that's it for, you know, the glass shader. So let's give the same shader to our bottle. But here I want to duplicate this and make it, you know, a little bit greenish and darker like this. Okay. And let's make this a little bit brighter just like that. And now we need to create some liquid and basically we can use the same shader for the liquid. So let's tap into the edit mode. And what I can do right here is enable X-ray view and alt click the inner loop right here with and then hold alt shift and select these other ones like here and with the bottom as last and press shift D to duplicate this right click to release in place. And let's press P and separate the selection. That will separate that geometry into a new object right here. So we can now tab out, select that new object, tab into the edit mode, press 2 for edge select, alt click the top loop because you really don't want to have a wine glass this full. So let's bring this down like this. And now we can press Ctrl B to bevel. And again, press A and Shift N to recalculate normals. And you could see the change right there. That means the normals were flipped actually. And now with the same material applied, we can just duplicate it and change the color and bring down the lightness like this. And for the liquid, we'll use different IOR. So let's say 1.3. And basically that's your wine. Now here um, we can do similar thing. So let's tap into the edit mode. And here we can just select everything at the bottom, press Shift D, right click to release and P enter to separate to a new object tab out, select the new object and we can tab in and we can just press S to scale this down like this and additionally move down and now alt click the top loop, press F to fill and I to inset to have a supporting loop there as well. Now press A to select all shift N again in case it's flipped, tab out and we can have the same material right there. So let's go to the materials and switch this. Now, this is not very visible here, but if you would go brighter for the glass on the bottle, you would see it differently. So now let's select the cork. Let's create a new material there and let's give this like a bright brown material and we can give the same material here as well. And now for the grapes, let's pick the same one, but duplicate it and let's make it darker and let's give this some roughness. And for the grapes, um, I want to use the transmission material as well. Um, but a little bit differently. So let's create a new one. Let's increase the transmission all the way to one. But at the same time, we'll increase transmission roughness all the way to one. And now for the base color, we'll bring this down and make it a little bit darker. And you can see this nice translucent material right there. And to make it a little bit more sophisticated, you can add like a violet subsurface color and increase the subsurface right here as well. And then, you know, you can play with the roughness, make it lower a little bit. Okay, let's look from the camera. And now let's play a little bit with the lighting. So first of all, let's add some background. So shift A and let's add a plane, tab into the A mode and let's make it larger. 
and now we can go ahead and create a material for the background you know something like a blue color i think would look nice now let's move this around a little bit maybe lower and now let's press shift d and shift z to move this on x and y axis and let's move this light to the side and you will see these nice reflections happening here and that's what we are going for when working with glass materials because no matter how it's glossy if you don't have any lights around to reflect so let's duplicate this and move one on the other side as well just be careful not to bring it too close so you don't overblow you know your scene just look at the reflections around here and find some nice reflections on the bottle and on the glass um, optionally you can select this and change to rectangle press r then y to rotate rotate like this and make it taller and this way you can create reflections tall reflections like this on the bottle and now for the general ambience let's go and add some blue tone to the world color and for the background i think we need to increase the roughness and reduce the lightness to something like this and add some more light in the back with some strength to make this pop a little bit better like this and finally you can go to the render settings color management and increase the exposure and play with the contrast so for example medium high contrast here should look just fine and additionally we can again play with the color of this background and finally you can select the camera and enable depth of field and choose one of the objects you know as a focus object and decrease the f-stop to create the depth of field effect and now you know to make the scene look a little bit better a little bit more sophisticated you could for example add some texture to the board or you can add like a bucket full of grapes or something like that so i'll try to play around with it and see where it goes but that's it for today's tutorial i really hope you enjoyed this one and if you did please don't forget to leave that like and if you're new around here please hit that subscribe thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day